I'm the parent of three university age students and I care deeply uh, about their education. But I try to, on the one hand, maintain a respectful distance, knowing that it's their education and they're making decisions, with, on the other hand, being interested, being involved, and understanding the courses that they're taking and the programs that they're following. What I would recommend to, to parents with respect to their, their children who are attending university, understand that it's not easy for them. It's a big adjustment. It's a big adjustment to, to a very different world and it really is their first opportunity to step foot in this, 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 this world of independence and I would support them with whatever it is they need to do by being understanding. One of the transitional issues is getting used to the new environment. It's also getting used to larger class sizes <laughs> as well. Most professors on campus will have office hours that students can attend to get additional support or clarification of assignments or clarification of concepts. Um, but it's going to, they're going to have less contact with the instructors than what they did in high school with their teachers. So it means that they're going to need to get used to this. If you're worried that maybe they um selected the wrong courses or have they selected the right courses? Well, you know, ask them the kinds of questions about what kind of factors went into their decision on the courses that they selected. Other transition issues that all students face would be things like a change in their social support. And this is especially important if they're um, living away from home as well. So they would lose their traditional support with their um, parents and siblings if they're living away from home for the first time. That dynamic with family changes. I've been through this. My kids are 24 and 22. When they leave, they're going to be phoning you, texting you, panicking, oh my god, I haven't made any friends, it's so sad, I'm so lonely. Then you won't hear from them for like two weeks and you're going to go, oh my gosh, what happened to them? They are ignoring you because they've made all these friends, they don't want to look at home. If they're in residence, they're having a great time. Uh, once they join clubs and have made those connections, okay, they're not looking back. So be prepared to let go. It's very hard, I've been through it, but you need to let go. They are going to be absolutely fine. We are here to help them. All the departments are here to help them. They are going to be successful. The kind of services that are available here are not meant to be remedial. In other words, they're not meant to just go fix something that's wrong. They're meant to provide you with a range of really high quality expertise because being a university student is difficult. Now, I know from listening to students that they may try their best so to have you think that they don't care about your opinion and that they're on their own. It's not true. Every one of our students cares deeply about what you think uh, about their success, and it's really important to them. That's why I'm asking you to give them a bit of freedom, okay? Because a lot of our students, their biggest fear is that they're not going to live up to their parents' expectations for them, and that's really important to them. It will really help them succeed if you can kind of remove that fear of failure, if you can let them know that you're with them and that you're supporting them as they try to experiment a bit, try to find out what courses, what disciplines um, are best, best fit for them. For one thing, I should tell this to everyone, you can't always guarantee an A at a university. A student may be really smart, and they may be working really hard, but somehow they don't click with the style in a particular course and they may not get that A. Nobody can guarantee you an A. Nobody can guarantee to deliver an A. And that's what I would encourage you to talk with your, with your children and say, you know, I support you. I know this is going to be a learning experience for you. And I just want you to do your best. So parents, do be involved. Do be interested in your child's education. But understand that it's their education and part of what's going on this year and in the years ahead is they're learning to be independent and they're learning to make decisions for themselves. Parents, you can feel very confident about your daughter or your son at UTSC. This is a remarkable place and it's very supportive. We know our students, we know they come from every background imaginable, from every religious or linguistic group, uh, from every uh, corner of the globe and uh, we value that diversity, we celebrate it, uh, it's what uh, excites us, it's what makes us strong, and every student here can see herself or himself in this campus and feel supported. You'll learn about the University of Toronto just as your child learns. It's a complex place to be sure, but it's a very exciting place, and it's a place that allows dreams to become reality.